Well, hello there, internet. How you doing? How you doing? Anyway, how you doing, wrestling fanatics? I am doing very well for myself. This weather has been crappy for the month of May. What is the deal, O'Neill? Where in the hell is our springtime? Whatever. I'm just looking forward to warm weather overall. Anyway, I just had to say that. And I know that the next pay-per-view will be Backlash for the exclusive, the SmackDown brand, the better brand. Now, I know some of you will not agree with me, and other people will agree with me. Now, we all know that Raw is a three-hour snooze fest. It is. It's awful. You know, I could take it, I could leave it. I watch it regardless. Taped, live, it don't matter. Speaking of tape, it is taped tonight from earlier today because it is from the UK. And I totally forgot. I thought they usually go there in April. I guess they change things around. I don't know. But I'm going to watch it regardless. I'm going to try to stay away from spoilers. But um, Smackdown, it's a two-hour show. Most likely it's going to be taped because it's in the same area as Raw. So I'm going to try to um, void the spoilers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me drink some water. <clears throat> if you must know that my cough is completely gone. I might have a little bit left. But not like the last two weeks. So, so thank God for medicine. Anyway... Um, I discussed this with my dad a while back, and he totally forgot, so I discussed with my sister and my mom, and we got tickets for Backlash for, um, what, May 21st on a Sunday. Now, I know you're going to say that, dude, you were just at WrestleMania with your dad and other events. There's nothing wrong with that, you know? And I know you're going to say, Rara, you just went to another wrestling event, a house show with your brother. There's nothing wrong with that. And this is my third wrestling event in 2017. This will be the first backlash since 2001, okay? If you're going to go, I will be in section 211, okay? That's all I'm going to say. So, you know, it don't matter where you're sitting at, at the off-seat arena. Every seat is freaking good. Now, the real reason I want to go there, because they're going to have Sinsky, Nakamono. Oh, wow, I said it right, I think. It's his debut match at Backlash, and he's going to face, <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> Dolph Ziggler. And they're going to have other matches, you know. You know, Randy Orton is going to face Devara. I know I totally botched it for the WWE title. You know, with his cronies and other matches, you know. So, it's going to be a unique card. <clears throat> I was thinking about getting ringside seats, <clears throat> but I changed my mind. I know a lot of you going to say, you should sure went for it, but it's okay, you know. But I know I'm not going to be on TV. I don't care about TV. I'm going to be there, you know. And just let you know, if you have Instagram, I'm definitely going to post photos on Instagram. Now, if you don't have Instagram, you could double-click this video. You could look in the, in the description box, and you could get my Instagram name. And you could just type it in on your phone or on your computer because I do it once in a while and you can look on my uh, my photos or video so I'm gonna try my best to take a lot of photos I don't want to waste my battery because of your dreams you know and I'm gonna get there early enough because the event it says 6 30 but I think that's when the gates open see it doesn't tell you this is the problem about tickets 
they used to tell you back in the day, um, so and so when the gates are open, and I know the event starts at seven, but I don't know what's gonna happen before that. But probably just um, a dark match, you know. Not really too sure, you know. But I don't mind going to Backlash. Uh, hopefully something big happens. Uh, maybe Shane Mac will be there and announce the match. You know, him and Deanna Bryan, that'd be pretty neato. Um, let's see what happens. But I think the reason they want to have Shinsuke Nakamono there because it's in Chicago. You know, I, I don't know if that's a random thing. They just say um, he's going to be playing for his debut at the pay-per-view. That'd be his debut match against Dolph. And that place is going to go crazy. I know some people that I know who attended... Uh, NXT, when he was on the roster, um, the place went crazy. So, when you watch it on TV and you go to the live, especially a certain wrestler, it's a different atmosphere, you know? Especially when I saw the Undertaker at 26 and 31 or any wrestling event, when I saw Taker, it's a different atmosphere when you see him live than on TV, you know? You get the chills, you could actually feel the fire. Rising up in the um, from the the spokes, not the spokes, but um, um, what from the the ramp? You know, I don't know how they did it, but you could feel the flames. Same thing for um, Kane. You could feel the flames. It all depends where you, how close you are. But this arena is so freaking small, and a lot of history on it. And um, I think this is the first time I'm going back. To the Australia in a long time, you know. I think I've been a while since I went to Raw, but Raw has been that good. Plus, it's a three hour show. Plus, they I think they uh tape another show. I think what Super Surge before Raw, not really too sure. <clears throat> but um, we're gonna try to get there early enough. Knock on wood, there's no freaking traffic. Most likely, there's gonna be traffic or construction. I'm gonna, we're gonna take the GPS. Because um take us a different direction in case there's a um um construction or um traffic, you know. But we're gonna eat out there somewhere. If we in a in the in the arena it's twice as much money than if you're gonna eat somewhere by the Austin arena. I wanna go to the um, um the wrestling uh, restaurant but it's too far away from the Austin arena. I did it with my brother and myself and my friend, but um, it's too far away, you know? I thought it was closer, so we're going to maybe go pop bellies or whatever. So if you go in there, hit me up on Twitter, inbox me, and let me know for sure if you're really going or not. Have a good one, and that really wraps it up. I just got these tickets yesterday from the printer. Thank God for the printer, huh? So I did not print them out at WrestleMania. I just... Had them access on my phone, you know. You know, you just zap it. But I like this better. I hopefully, I don't lose them. I'm going to hang up in my mailbox. In my bedroom. With all my knickknacks. I got a lot of junk up there. Just random stuff, you know. So, that wraps it up. Once again, my dad and myself are going to Backlash. So, if you're going to be there, say hi. Hopefully, I'll get there early enough. And I could be at a restaurant. I think I, they got a couple of restaurants at the Yoshi Arena across the street. I forgot off of my top of my head. Have a good one and hopefully we get there early enough. Sorry I'm repeating myself and hopefully the weather won't be that crappy. Hopefully it's nice and warm. This is your friend here. Tim Ryan Wright is signing off. All my social links are down below. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe. Peace out. Oh, by the way, what do you think is going to close out the show? United States Championship match between AJ Styles for the KO or the W Championship between Randy Orr and um, Davari? I think I t totally matched that. What do you think is going to end out the sh close out the show for Backlash for the SmackDown brand? Now, my here.